Hey, hey guys! Make sure I'm recording. For those of you that care, this is my morning routine. Not, well, morning, afternoon, evening of what I do with my account. I first go through my, well, I go through the characters from left to right. This is for those that even just care. Probably don't care, which is fine. But, I like to make videos. Or at least I'm motivated to right now. I take this one. This is my main character. I can't, I cover some of this in my account tour. But this used to be my main character. And I played a lot of time on. And I do flaxy farming with him. And then I deposit all that. I <coughs> excuse me, I use this thing. Buy my daily thing of that. Go to the next character. Uh, uh, this one is a lion's arch jumping puzzle farmer. And I just go open the chest and I usually just pop right out. Unless I get a silver bullion. And I put it on the trading post. And this one is a black seed farmer. Altogether I have four flaxseed farmers and twelve lion's arch jumping puzzle farm farmers farmer 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 just farm up a storm in case you don't know or not aware of seals tiny snowflakes back in a winter's event two winters ago we got these gathering tools that would give you snowflakes. At the time, those tiny snowflakes were worth a little bit. You could actually make a profit on them. But now they're worthless. The recipes for the, for the Mystic Forge were removed that used them because you could use those in combination with some other snowflakes to upgrade them to snowflakes, to pristine snowflakes. That's what it was. So those are the frostbitten toolboxes I'm talking about. And you open those, and it gives you a random there. See, I need those for my farming. And then I usually put those in my extra sortum. And I have the space to keep them, so, but uh, they'll probably be useless. I'll probably delete them at some point. Oh, I had more than I thought in here. At any rate, that's that one. Black seed farmer at level 12 I just bypassed. He's my, he's character. He used to be on the right side of the character select screen. He was, he is my blind black lion chess key farming slot. And I haven't done them for a while. I haven't farmed for a while. I find that I just like to do what I want to do. Keeps it interesting and fun. If I want to do this, I'll do this. If I want to do that, I'll do that. So doing all this farming makes gold. Makes enough gold to give me 2100 right now. There's other ways to make gold. Y'all just play. Playing makes gold. Doing the boss train farm. There's all kinds of videos on YouTube about how to make gold. And this is just how I've come to try it and like it. Easy. Fast. And I can do it while doing some other stuff. Checking my email. Checking Facebook. Booyah. Next, another jumping puzzle farmer. I've thought about upgrading these levels to like a level 80 and make them flaxseed farmers. Don't know honestly which one would make more. If there wasn't the silver dublins, then flaxseed by far because the loot that you get from the outside of the silver coins 
the loot is hardly worth anything. I added it up. I did some sort of figuring the other day. It's worth like 8 silver. Compared to about 60 to 70 silver, I think, per flax seed farmer. No gallant tools equipped. I need, see, look, see, I have 1,500 of those in my bank. If you try to sell them, just boom. Somebody wants some, so I'll give them to them. Alright, I need a gathering tool. Okay, we need some of these. Let's give you some of those. Open them. I'll go through those later, put those in my bank. Let's see. So a pile of flax seeds is well one flax seed forty two silver plus I didn't get any other flax thing. But let's deposit it. Go on to the next. And now my daily crafting. Almost done. Welcome to my channel. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching my video. I already crafted my meat things because I just done my my daily crafting thing. I, I craft that in the day, and I do the plank. And I think I already did that too. Yeah, I just kind of save crafting the the final product till the end take care of the daily things. I'm, I'm, looks like I'm going to need some of those. I might have enough after I craft them, but when I need something, I just go and I buy a slew of it. Like that. Place an order for it. Let's go over here. Oops. Forgot to take off exotic. We'll craft these stuff. Looks like I need some more leather. Sweet, sweet trip. Stuff's expensive. Buy a little bit of those. Okay. And go through. Looks like I need some ore. We'll buy some ore. Metro ore. Crafting's cool in this game. It took me a long time to get into crafting. After my first 80. Man, I need all kinds of stuff. So, if you're new to the game, don't worry about crafting yet. You get to, after you get your first 80, then you might start thinking about, you know, making some money like I'm doing here. Doing it this way, because you have to level up your crafting disciplines. All, I have all my crafting disciplines up maxed. I already had some Mr. Ore waiting for me, I think. Either way, it doesn't matter. Well, that's it. That's my daily routine, and then... Actually, let me add something else, because currently, right now, I typically get on my current main, which is her. I'm about to redo her hairdo. And then I go and get the bandit orders. I don't, I don't necessarily go kill the bandit, because the current event that's going on right now is the bandit something. Bounty hunter. And so I have two orders. And it'll let you have three, four, five. So I typically, typically just go kill some bandits and get those orders. And then I go on a killing spree to kill those bosses. It's a little quicker that way instead of get your orders, kill the boss. So, haha, <laughs> I like my, like my warhorn. Alright, let's kill some bandits. See if we can bring them over here and kill a couple at a time. There we go. Sometimes it doesn't give them to me. Because I, I don't know why. Maybe there's a prerequisite. You can only... I don't know. But I usually go try. Because it usually, usually gives them to me. Come on, band orders. Come on, band orders. 
here they are. Encoded orders is what they're called. And then you have to go take them to an NPC. Excuse me, let me get out of combat. If you could double click on them and show you where to go, but ah, not quick enough. Try to go over here and get out of combat. There we go. I'll double click on them. So they just show you how to where to go right there. Come on. For these videos, I know how to do advanced editing, but if I get to it, start trying to make these too good and all fancy and everything, it just takes too much time. So I have another one. If you double click on them, it will take you, kind of show you where that particular one is that you need to go and kill the boss. But if I try to get, I won't make as many as if I try to get to advance and take a bunch of time to make these videos. I just want to be able to hit record, do my thing, exit and upload. That way I know I have time to do it. But that's it for now. Thanks guys. Subscribe, like, ask some questions if you want to. See you around.